delivered the Thanksgiving speech, finished her undergraduate degree of Bachelor of Arts in Journalism in 2018. In the same year, she received the first place award of the United Nations Development Program Case for Space Photojournalism Competition. During law school, she financed her studies by working as an executive news producer at TB5 Network Incorporated. Aside from the fact that she passed in all her subjects in law school, she reflects the motto of the PUP College of Law of Eximius Academicus by graduating with a general weighted average of 1.99. Despite the challenges, <laughs> despite the challenges faced by a working law student, she has achieved a great feat, which is admirable in the PUP College of Law. To deliver the Thanksgiving speech, a round of applause to Ms. Rosabel Toledo, Juris Doctor. To the esteemed members of the PUP Board of Regents, to the executive officials, PUP President Dr. Manuel M. Muhi, Executive Vice President and Vice President for Finance, Professor Alberto C. Gilio, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Emmanuel C. De Guzman, Vice President for Student Affairs and Services, Professor Tomas O. Testor, Vice President for Research, Extension, Planning and Development, Dr. Ana Rubiga Pasin, Vice President for Branches and Satellite Campuses, Professor Pascualito Bigatan, and Vice President for Administration, Professor Adam V. Ramilo. To our beloved faculty members, led by the Dean of the College of Law, Attorney Jemmy Lito L. Festin, the staff of the college who we love and treasure so much, to our distinguished guests, led by our commencement speaker, Under Secretary, Office of the Deputy Director General for Legal of the Anti-Red Tape Authority, Attorney Genesis R. Abbott. To our dear parents, grandparents, family members, friends, and of course, to my fellow graduates, good afternoon. And welcome to what has been our home for the past several years, the PUP College of Law. We call this home and the people we met here our second family. Kasi lahat na ata ng pwedeng maranasan ng isang typical na pamilyang Pilipino naranasan natin dito. There are exciting moments. Kagaya nung pumasa tayo sa Pukli at umupo sa una nating law class. Iniisip pa natin, finally, law student na ako. Kala natin masaya, no? Merong moments of shock. Kasi akala natin, chill lang ang first year. Pero first week pa lang, more than 50 cases na ang in-assign ni attorney. Sa isang subject pa lang. There are moments of anxiety. Kapag natawag na lahat sa resi tapos nagbalasa ulit ng class card si attorney. May moments of sadness din. Like when we promise ourselves na babawi tayo sa finals. Kaya lang first question pa lang ng finals nga nga. Pero since pamilya nga tayo dito, naging tradisyon na rin sa atin na palakasin ang loob ng isa't isa. Laging sinasabi ng besties ko yan, si Yana Valdez, si Ina Montala, okay lang kung di ka nakabawi sa finals. May grand finals pa. And here we finally are. Those moments of excitement, shock, and despair came to all of us in waves and cycles but they ultimately brought all of us here today. And at the end of it all, I'm sure what we'll remember the most are the moments of happiness, success, and pride that we all shared as a community. Kapag lumalabas ang bar results, tapos recognized na naman si PUP as one of the country's top law schools. Sarap sa pakiramdam nun, di ba? That's when we realize that every bit of challenge, lahat ng resit na iniyakan mo, lahat ng sleepless nights, lahat ng exam na nagpa-anxiety sa'yo, lahat yun worth it. And so to my fellow graduates whom I have the honor of representing today, 
I hope you're proud of what we've accomplished and what we're about to accomplish after this day. I have no doubt that as graduates of PUP College of Law, we are bound for even greater things. Yet, we can't discount the fact that great challenges also lie ahead of us. And I'm not just talking about the bar exams. I'm talking about what comes after. Kapag nakuha na natin yung dot, yung mga attorney sa harap ng mga pangalan natin, that's when the real challenge begins. That's when we must prove that we are worthy of the privilege of practicing law as PUP educated lawyers. And when that time comes, may we never forget the lessons we learned from law school and our dear professors. Especially yung mga lessons na hindi mo mahahanap sa mga kodal, sa mga libro. Halimbawa, in law school, we learned how to solve legal problems the right way. Kabisado nyo na to. First, you spot the issue. Second, you answer the question responsively. And third, sigurado o hindi sa sagot, you back it up confidently. So as we transition from the study of law to the practice of law, may we draw upon these lessons. May we spot the biggest issues faced by our nation today. May we answer responsively to the true calling of a lawyer, which is to defend the Constitution and the rule of law. And may we do this with courage and confidence. Dahil hindi po basta-basta ang makakalaban natin kapag pinagtanggol natin ang batas at silang dapat na pinaka nakikinabang dito. We all know those who have less in life should have more in law. This brings me back to the first day of classes. Diba, tuwing start ng SEM, ano sabi ng prof? Introduce yourself. What's your name? Oh. Why did you enter law school? Classic yan. Well, sa Cream 1 class ni Dean Festin, nung freshie ako, we were asked to do that. Eh, isa namin classmate sabi niya, Dean, naglaw ako kasi gusto kong yumaman. Natawa si Dean. Sabi niya, Nako, eh bakit dito ka nag-enroll? Hindi ka yayaman dito. And you know what? I was so proud to hear that because it told me everything I needed to know about the true mark of lawyers from PUP. Maaring hindi mayaman, pero kaya hindi yumaman kasi hindi nabibili. Growing up, we are told that when money talks, everybody listens. That's just not true. Every day in this country, there are voices that try so hard to be heard over the sound of bills rustling against the pockets of billionaires who think they can buy everything. These voices are of farmers and indigenous peoples saying no. Our ancestral lands are not for sale. These voices are of underpaid laborers saying no. We deserve more than the scraps falling off of the capitalist tables. They are of students saying no. Education is not a privilege, nor is it a commodity. Of ordinary voters saying no, you cannot buy our votes. Of the widows and the orphans, of the thousands killed, and forced to disappear every year, saying no. Our silence is not for sale. Our rights are not for sale. Justice is not for sale. And as we leave these halls as proud graduates of the PUP College of Law, I dare all of us to find these voices. They are almost impossible to hear from the ivory towers wherein many lawyers typically congregate. So go where you may hear these voices loud and clear. Seek them out, represent them, advocate for their rights, 
amplify their voices and make sure they know that there is at least one law school in this country that produces the kind of lawyers that money can't buy. The kind of lawyers that will defend them come hell or high water. But as we fulfill our destinies, may we never forget to look back on the people who took on this journey with us. Yung mga taong hindi tayo iniwan since day one. First of all, our parents, grandparents, our siblings, our partners, and for some, your dear children. Silang walang sawang hinila tayo from our lowest points as struggling law students. Simpleng pagsabi nila ng, kaya mo yan anak, pinagdadasal kita apo, o laban lang mahal. Di ba dyan tayo ginaganahang mag-aral pa, lumaban pa, bumangon pa kahit pa ulit-ulit nang nadada pa? That's why I'd like to take this moment to honor all the parents and loved ones who are present here today, starting with my own. Antonio and Resili Toledo, thank you for everything you've done for me since the day I decided to take on the beast that is law school. To the Concepcion family, Milagros and Benjamin Sr., salamat sa lagi ninyong pagsuporta. Sa lola ko, na na Concepcion, na naubusan na lang ng kandila, kakadasal, hindi lang para sa akin, kundi sa buong batch natin. To my partner Nico, na para na rin nag-law school this past four years, kakadamay sa akin. Thank you for being with me every step of the way. At sa lahat po ng mga magulang, kapamilya, partners, at mga anak ng mga batchmates ko na nandito, salamat po sa inyo. Sa tulong, dasal, at sa lahat ng mga sakripisyo ninyo. Sabi nga nila, it takes a village to raise a lawyer. So thank you for being part of the village that raised the soon-to-be lawyers you're seeing here today. Please enjoy this day as the culmination of years of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. May Juris Doctor na po kayo. To our angels, our batchmate Sing Daphne Mauricio, my mentor Rommel Marvin Rio, the father of our dear Ate Joey, Mr. Eduardo Huiso, this day is also for you. And in your loving memories, we now offer a few moments of silence for prayers and gratitude. Iba-iba man tayo ng pinanggalingan, pinagbuklod tayo ng iisang pangarap. Pangarap na hinubog at pinagyabong ng ating sintang paaralan. Huwag sana nating kalimutan na ang pagiging iskolar ng bayan ay isang karangalan na may kaakibat na pananagutan. Pananagutang ialay ang ating mga sarili at ang ating mga tagumpay lagit-lagi para sa bayan. Sa loob nga lang ng ilang buwan, tayong mga iskolar ng bayan mula sa PUP College of Law Class of 2023 ay magiging mga abogado ng bayan. And may we, the next generation of PUP educated lawyers, uphold the essence and the mandate of an iskolar ng bayan. That is to serve the people with integrity, fairness, and excellence. Let me end this with a quote from Judge Amelia Lourdes Mendoza from a lower court in Negros Oriental. History will judge our present actions, and we, members of the bench and bar, will be called to account on what we did to protect and secure the weakest among us. And whether we enable the powerful to lead us astray from the path of our Constitution. To the PUP Law Class of 2023, congratulations. And remember 
that history has its eyes on you. So may we all emerge on the right side of it. Maraming salamat po.